introduce Audrey a little more. Audrey Bay is an employee of Hewlett Packard Company. Their worldwide headquarters are currently located in California. Their company provides services, products, and other technology to consumers, businesses, and large enterprises. This is correct. According to 2012 unit sales, HP is the world's largest PC vendor. However, with the constant demand for new technology and the economic pressures to keep our prices low, HP has had a rough time keeping the corporation located only in the United States. Actually, HP isn't the only corporation having this problem. Many American corporations have been moving their headquarters to foreign countries to avoid paying the federal corporate tax in America, which is 20 to 25 percent higher than most other countries. That just seems unfair. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 7.8 percent of Americans didn't have a job in December 2012. More than ever, American citizens need jobs. Should the federal income tax for corporations be lowered to keep corporations in the United States? The answer is no. The United States government should not cut taxes on corporations. I can speak for all of us. We do need to keep jobs in the U.S., but there are reasons the corporations are taxed as high as they are. Just think about this. If a corporation doesn't pay a tax, who does? The customer. It can be argued that no tax is needed at all. But how will the federal government finance all of our national infrastructures or pay all of its debts? If the taxes are decreased or completely eliminated, then the $16 trillion deficit will only skyrocket. My question is, why should businesses stay if they have to pay this massive tax expense? That's a good question. If you look at corporations from an outside point of view, it is without a doubt cheaper to buy and make products in foreign countries. But have you ever thought about the political situations and hostilities that are happening overseas? All across the Middle East and Asia, religious and minority-based rebellion groups form terrorist attacks on innocent civilians and businesses. Now, what if that attack was on your corporation? Or your family? According to the U.S. Department of State, in 2011, nearly 6.32 million U.S. citizens are living and working abroad. I would want a stable government with safety and security for my corporation, fellow employees, and my family members. According to a PC World article in November 2008, terrorists attacked top five-star hotels in Mumbai, India. An estimated 100 people were feared dead or held hostage. Since then, technology companies in India, such as Microsoft, have tightened security at their facilities. I agree. Many foreign countries do not have the same security as the United States. According to a World Bank report in 2012, there were over 4,000 domestic corporations in 2011. The security that these corporations have is paid for by the taxes that they are required to pay to the federal government. Remember, you get what you pay for. Exactly. Americans have high expectations and want high quality products. Foreign countries don't always have the luxuries of the states and therefore do not always understand our consumers' desires. Keeping manufacturing facilities in the United States allows for consumers' concerns to be effectively met. And the manufacturing of products here in America creates jobs which give money to the people to pay to the American economy. It's a complex cycle. A corporation is only taxed on the profit it earns. It doesn't take tax away from an employee's paycheck. If the government was to lower tax rates, the tax would in turn have to come from somewhere else, and that place would most likely be the individual. You can't count increased business activity before it happens. If the tax rates are lowered, it's hard to say what businesses would do with that extra money. They might invest it, create new products or enhance technology. The hope is that they would create new jobs. This is not always the case. If you cut tax rates, then less money is provided to the government to be used to finance our national infrastructures, produce research, and health care benefits. The government is the largest customer in the world. This is not a case of whether the corporate tax rates should be kept high and companies should transfer to foreign countries. This is about keeping our tax rates higher than other countries to keep our government running smoothly and our freedoms intact. We have fewer concerns about our safety, security, and our national economy being dependent on foreign countries. Therefore, the corporation tax rate should not be decreased. Thank you. What if the only resource, uh, recourse for a corporation is to pass it on to the customer? Cost them to the increase tax the taxes of the corporation? I think made in America is enough to pay for having spending a little extra money for good quality product here in America 
is worth paying a little extra for being made in America. I agree. We went to our district competition for FBLA, and um, a new company um, presented their new see-through rain boots. Um, they tried getting their products from China at first because it was cheaper, but the Chinese products were not see-through and they glowed in the dark. I mean, I wouldn't want that product on my feet. <laughs> no. So you definitely get better quality products if they're made in America. Even if you are paying higher taxes on them or if they're more expensive, you're more likely to have better quality products if they're made in America. Um, you said in your, in your presentation that oh, some countries are dangerous. And what about those other countries that are not dangerous, like Australia? And we haven't heard too much geopolitical strife in Australia. That is true. But um, you have to think about the European countries and the other countries over there also have a VAT tax known as a value added tax on their products. And so, from a perspective, from our perspective, it does look lower. However, with their value added tax, their taxes are approximately about the same as our tax. And some of those countries that are less dangerous, they probably aren't as populated, so there wouldn't be as many corporations there anyway because that's not where all the business is focused around. So that's probably one of the main reasons you don't hear much about them. But a lot of places corporations would be going is places that would possibly be more dangerous. You also don't know what kind of rights the people have in that country. Like, what is the punishment for certain things? I mean, here in America, we're safe. We have our government to depend on. And I know there are other co corporations in Australia, but most of the corporations that um, we know, like Microsoft and Dell, are in China and India and some of those highly populated areas.